saving streaming video from the website. You subscribe to a video on demand service, but you have to pay for your data fee every time you watch their videos. Would it be better to watch the movie offline anywhere, anytime to save your money? Here, I'll show you how to save streaming video from the website. Often, several streaming video websites would hide their direct video URL to prevent you from downloading them. Video downloader extensions also oh. cannot grab the video file. Even some programs can grab the file, but the video file would be divided into several parts, which is the nature of string video file. Oh. So, what would you do? Luckily, the protection of some websites are not too strong. That still has some workarounds about it. First off, go to the website to download FFmpeg. Click FFmpeg git foo.7z to download it. At your Chrome browser, go to the website that streams the video that you want to save it. Press F12 on your keyboard to open Developer Tools option. Navigate to Fetch SSR tab on the Developer Tools pane. Play the video. Change video resolution to the one that you want to download. In this case, it's 1080p. Immediately look at the pane to find the M3UA file that is popped up suddenly when you have just changed the video resolution. That is the file that you want to download. Right click that the M3UA file. Copy. Copy URL. To copy the URL of the file, notice the stated cost 200 OK. It indicates that your browser sent a request to their server successfully for streaming the video file, which means this method that we're gonna use now has highly chance to be successful. Open your notepad and do preparation step by typing CLI as shown in the video. Remember to paste copy the url.m3ua inside the quotation marks as in the example. Name the file at the last part of the CRI, let's say the house of goblin.mp4. Copy all CRI. Open your command prompt from your Windows search field. Go to the path that FFmpeg was saved from a previous downloading step. Go to bin directory by typing cd bin. And right click to paste the CLI and it should run the command automatically. If everything goes well, you will see megabyte would increasing continuously. That indicates the video files are being downloaded. And check! Sit back and relax.